Welcome to another AGG Doors online tutorial. In this online tutorial, we're going to go through how to replace the battery in your Merlin M802 remote control. This is your Merlin M802 remote control. It has a blue face, two buttons, this large section here, and this small button down here has an indicator light at the top to indicate when the remote is being activated. For these exercises you require a new battery which is a 823 model and you can purchase this from most supermarkets now or from our online shopping at www.awgdoors.com.au forward slash online shopping. First step, take the remote control. As you can see, if you have an inspection of the remote control, there's a slot down the middle. This section houses the battery. What we need to do is apply a bit of pressure with your thumbs and then slide it downwards. And you can see there's a clip there which hooks under this section here and holds the cover off. So by applying pressure it allows you to remove that cover. Inside you find the battery. Take the battery out. And take the new battery out of the packet. We'll pretend we've taken the new battery out of the packet. And when putting it in you need to match up the terminals. As you can see here, if we take a closer look, there's a plus, and on this side there is a negative. So we want to match it up to the battery. If you have a look at the battery, there's a plus. So plus to plus. So plus on this side, so we'll match it up, push it in, grab the battery cover, place it down, and then slide it back up. and test it out and you're good to go. On a quick note just in case you have the old version M802 remote control which is the one on the left this one here takes a, a shorter thicker battery if we take it out you see it's a 6 volt battery type 476A so if you have one of these, you'll need to get one of these type of batteries, which is a 476A 6 volt battery. If you require the video shoot on one of the other Merlin remotes, either the Merlin M842 or the Merlin C945, have a look through other tutorials. Thank you for joining us on this tutorial.